a poem for the end of the year. Another year almost gone, and where, and what is it? The earth has made one more journey around the sun. The sun has inched its way, or miled its way, or mega-miled its way, a few degrees around the periphery of the galaxy. The earth has spun just a bit more than 365 times upon its axis. We have been hot and cold. The moon has spooned and spun, phased in and out a dozen times or so. We have had our moments of calm and our lunatic binges. The tide has risen and dropped 13 times. We have had our ups and downs. Millions have died and millions more have been born. The crystals grow, bacteria munch, the biosphere breathes in and gives off gas. A year almost gone. A million years have gone. Billions of years have gone. And before the earth was born, no one, not even God, knew what time it was. There was a mountain and now it is a hill. There was a swamp and now it is a mountain. A star exploded. Another sucked itself into eternal darkness, and more stars danced into existence. Elements formed and transformed in the fiery furnace of the stellar smelter. Species come and go. Life and energy play in ways beyond our imagination. And before the big bloom, there was only imagination. And then, perhaps, love. And I was just going to say that I love the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock and think about what that means. Perhaps nothing more than that I love beauty and mystery and soft touches and imagination creates beauty and mystery and my heart responds with a soft touch. The Egyptians say that Ptah conceived the universe in his heart and created with his word. But still, before Ptah, the darkness was there, the dark energy undulating to some unknown vibe. And so before being could be, Ptah had to plant his seed of light into the vibrating womb. And some say sound gives birth to light, and that may be. Did Ptah reach such a frenzied pitch, singing his primal song of love, such frantic frequencies that he exploded in the pleasure of light? Is the Big Bang actually the big orgasm and we children of that ancient union? Imagination giving birth to love and song, song giving birth to ecstasy and ecstasy giving birth to light? Perhaps, but I think not quite right. Feels true, but not quite, because for there to have been so much delight, there must have been some wine. Indeed, there must have been some wine. And who brought the wine? 